Hi everyone, we're back with another episode at Earthy Cookouts. Today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite desserts in the world. It's a creme brulee. If you're someone who hasn't heard of a creme brulee, it's kind of like a caramel custard or egg pudding with a crispy layer of caramelized sugar on top. I remember being introduced to this dessert by my Masi and I was so addicted to it. I think I would eat one every night. Honestly, veganizing this recipe wasn't easy, but I'm ready to share my secrets with you for this incredible dessert which only takes 20 minutes to make. So let's start. For this recipe, we will need oat condensed milk. I recently started experimenting with vegan condensed milk and I would definitely recommend using it if you have access to it. Otherwise, just substitute it for full fat coconut milk. I've tried the recipe with both and it's amazing either way. Sugar. If you're using full fat coconut milk, otherwise the condensed milk doesn't really need any extra sugar. Potato starch and cornstarch which will help thicken the milk and give it a creamy custard consistency. Agar agar powder. The agar agar powder will give the custard a slight jelly-like texture. If you're wondering where you can find these ingredients, agar agar and potato starch are easily available on Amazon and I'm sure most of you are familiar with corn flour or cornstarch, which is widely used as a thickener in Indian cooking. Vanilla extract. I like using a good quality vanilla extract which gives this custard this lovely vanilla flavor. Vegan butter. This gives the custard some extra richness but you can also leave it out. 4 to 5 tablespoons of light brown sugar or white sugar for the caramel layer on top. Now for the hero ingredient, Borges almond milk. We will need four glass or ceramic bowls like this. Just make sure that they are heat proof so they don't crack when we make the caramel layer on top. Okay, let's start. So, in a medium saucepan, add the almond milk. One and a half cups of almond milk. Condensed milk. Potato starch. Corn starch. Agar agar powder. And vanilla extract. Whisk until the starches are fully combined with the milk. Now here's a quick tip. If you're using a starch to thicken any liquid, the starches with the liquid at room temperature until it's well combined and then slowly heated. That way you reduce the chances of any lumps forming. So now that it looks like a homogeneous mixture, we can add it to the stove and slowly start heating it. As the mixture heats, it will start to thicken. Make sure to keep whisking so the starch doesn't burn on the bottom. Once the mixture looks like this, it's nice and thick, add the vegan butter and whisk until it's well combined. Boil the mixture like this for a few minutes and this is the final consistency you're looking for. So now that the custard is done, immediately pour it into the bowls and let it cool at room temperature. The next step is to refrigerate the bowls for at least 6 hours or preferably overnight. 
Now that the creme brulee is all set, now comes the icing on the cake, the crispy caramel layer. When you're ready to serve, sprinkle about one tablespoon of sugar on top of the ramekins and use your fingers to press it down like this. It's about a tablespoon and then I use my fingers to press it down. Now I'm going to show you how to use a kitchen torch, which might seem intimidating, but it's actually really easy. You just be careful while using it because it's dangerous. So basically I switch it on like this and I make sure to hold it about three inches away from the bowl so that the sugar doesn't burn. I'm going to show you how it's done. Just rotate your hand. And you can also dim the flame. Just get the sides done. And once you think it's almost done, that's when you switch off the. So once it's done, let the caramel harden for a couple of minutes. Uh, once it's kind of cool, I garnish it with some fresh fruits. It's time to dig in. Okay, it's time to taste. What's really fun about this dessert is that you can use the edge of the spoon to crack this crispy caramel layer like this. It's so good. I scoop out some of the custard and the crispy caramel layer. The contrast is just amazing. And that's how you make a vegan creme brulee, my friends. Wasn't that incredibly easy? Honestly, plant-based cooking is not rocket science. With the right substitutes and a little knowledge, we can create vegan versions of everything we love. Okay, now give yourself a pat on the back because you're one step closer to being an expert in plant-based desserts. I really hope you try this recipe and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Earthy Cookhouse on YouTube so you have access to all the upcoming delicious recipes.